Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course guys, today I'm going to show you how to on your iPhone, which includes the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro Max, and of course the iPhone 11 Pro. This will apply to any of these devices. Now of course, I'll be showing you to scan QR codes using your iPhone. Now of course, QR codes right here means that those special codes that you can usually find online, they can be found out in the real world, world printed and so on. So of course, using this method, you'll be using your iPhone without any need for installation of any apps at all, and you'll be able to scan any QR code. All right, so in case you do not know what a QR code is, you can check out one I have on the website right here. So this is what we mean by a QR code. Now, of course, I'm sure you'll see these all over the place. So once you know what a QR code is, I'm going to show you on the iPhone how to scan these easily. So let's go. All right, the first thing you want to do, guys, is on your device is go into it. So once you're in settings, guys, as seen right here, you're going to go down to Control Center, which is the option here. And, I'm, and I am right now in iOS um, 13, which is the latest um, version as of this video. Go to Custom Controls. And of course, what you're going to do here, guys, is going to look for the QR code um, option. And you see it right here. It says QR Code Reader. Simply tap. What happens is that it has moved and added to your control center. So simply, I'm going to go back to the home screen. And of course, you're going to swipe down from the upper right of the screen. As you can see here, there's a new option that looks like a QR code. So we're going to simply go ahead and hit. And once we do that right here, you can see that it's already ready to scan. And since I have on the website this cool QR code, what I'm going to do from here now, guys, is simply go ahead and use the phone to scan the QR code. So check this out guys. So as you can see here, notice I have to position this and there you go. And it has used um, the Safari browser and it's going there. And of course it's over on my website, which was done seamlessly and easily. All right guys, so as you can see, it's very, very easy and it will work on any QR code. Also guys, you can check out my website for how to generate your very own QR codes. As you see, you have an article on how to generate QR codes. You can search for this um, in Google. It says how to read QR codes with your Android phone. But ignore the part about your Android phone as this also works for, um, or should work, I should say, for other devices. Um, you can see here, it goes through a very detailed tutorial and it does give you um, other options right here. So if you have an Android device, you can generate these codes. Also, you'll know to simply type in the website blogtechtips.com. The address is shown there. And of course, you should be able to do it too by finding an online generator. Or otherwise, you can also use App Store to find a QR code generator. So you can go ahead and search for QR code generators. There should be plenty. Or find one online. All right. So you don't have to actually use my option to save yourself some time. Also, guys, a quick note before you leave. Notice right here. Um, as it relates to the um, code, the QR code scanner. In case the environment is dark, you can keep, click the flashlight and notice the flashlight will turn on to brighten up the area as it relates to the QR code. All right, guys, so I won't drag this on any longer. And as usual, the guys, this is Ricardo Gardner from uh, Blog Tech Tips saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.